I think Dr. Wu wants to say something. Go ahead. I just wonder, is a good moment? I may take five minutes. So is that good? <laughs> Go okay, ahead. I just want to make some comments. Um, so first, um, Dr. Sun and Chair Walsh, thanks for inviting me to this meeting. This is Dr. Tao, Chair of Howard County Board of Education. I'm not speaking on behalf of the whole board, even though probably every board member agree with me on this issue. I really appreciate the county council for giving me the opportunity. Since the release of the Spending Affordability Advisory Committee report, it has been a month and a half. Our county executive already released his 2022 capital budget. I would like to talk about SAC report and the ongoing challenges the school system is facing. I'm also proposing two possible solutions. First, let's talk about the 2021 school system, 2022 school system capital project. There's an urgent funding need for school maintenance and the three new construction projects, Pipe Spring, Hammond High, and High School 13. Under the county executive 2022 capital budget, the gap is as high as $30 million for the school system for the next year. The board and the HCPSS staff have continuously noted during public discussion with the county council and the state delegation regarding the cost of the three construction projects. This project moved forward with the construction in 2021 because of the joint commitment to maintain this funding. However, with the current capital funding level from the county's 2022 capital budget, we have to defer many maintenance projects again. Some projects have been deferred for more than 10 years or even 20 years. And that is one reason why the school system is having a $800 million maintenance list since we keep deferring them. Here are some examples. ARL, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning renovation. Lots of replaced 1968. Older than many people here, right? The cost is around $25 million. Centennial High School renovation, addition, and HVAC replacement. Lots to replace 1997. The cost is $90 million. Don Logan Middle School renovation, addition, and HVAC replacement. Lots to replace in 1994. The cost is $41 million. Elk Ridge Langley Middle School, HVAC replacement. Lots replaced in 1995. The cost is $10 million. Forest Ridge Elementary School, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning system replacement. Lots to replace in 1992. The cost is $42 million. Fulton Elementary School, HVAC and roof replacement. Lots to replace in 1997. The cost is $18 million. Hammond Middle School, it's not Hammond High, it's Hammond Middle School. The renovation and HVAC replacement, $41 million. Hopper's Choice Middle School, renovation and HVAC replacement, $17 million. Jefferson Hill Elementary School, boiler replacement, lost replaced in 1974, cost $0.5 million. HVAC replacement, lost replaced in 1998, cost $51 million. Long Ridge High School, HVAC replacement, the cost is $38 million. Mandel Woods Elementary School, HVAC replacement, lost replaced in 1994. The cost is $10 million. Mayfield Woods Middle School Renovation. The cost is $41 million. Oakland Mills High School Renovation. Lost renovated in 1973. Cost $110 million. Oakland Mills Middle School Renovation. The cost is $51 million. Old City Lane Replacement of Heating, Ventilation, Air Conditioning. Lost replaced in 1982. The cost is $10 million. Patapsco Middle School, renovation and HVAC replacement. Lost replaced in 1996. The cost is $51 million. Pointers Run Elementary School, renovation, $20 million. St. John's Lane Elementary School, HVAC replacement, $16 million. 
Wild Lake High School HVAC and the boilers replacement, the cost is $5.5 million. So you can see we have a long list and a lot of spending and requirement for those renovation and the replacement project. New school construction is needed for our country's rapid development and the continuous student enrollment increase year by year. Maintenance funding is needed to provide a safe and a pleasant working and a learning environment for our teachers and students. Missing either new school funding or the maintenance funding will lead us to a more dire situation since we don't see any relief coming soon. Future county revenue projection is slowing down and the student enroll, enrollment number keeps increasing due to the fast housing development across the whole county. Second, let's talk about the operating budget. We are looking forward to the whole homeless number, which means maintaining FY21 funding level should be maintained. We did see the enrollment dip because of the pandemic. However, we should expect the season will come back in the fall when we expect HCPSS will have a five day in classroom instruction. We should have this confidence that HCPSS will continue to provide quality education to attract parents and students to come to our school system. Third, over the last three budget cycle, HCPSS have realigned and reduced spending considerably by eliminating positions, increasing class sizes, and cutting programs to balance our budget. We can only do so much with the limited funding. Finally, I strongly believe in the proposed solution. Our county's capital project funding, operating budget funding, and our county's planning and zoning, I mean, HOCO by design or the general plan, which is in discussion, should always put HCPSS in the center of every decision. I also propose that we create an MOE, maintenance of effort for deferred maintenance too which will hold our county flag and the county council accountable for our school system maintenance funding. Once the current aging HVAC system fails catastrophically and no replacement parts will be available due to the old aging system, we have no wiggle room at all to defer them any longer. The longer we kick the can farther away, the higher cost they need in the future. Keeping deferring them is to cheat ourselves and jeopardize our short-term and long-term financial health. Past decision not funding them sufficiently and aggregating to such a large number should be a waking call for all of us. More than 90% of our country's tax comes from personal income tax and the property tax. We should value our parents' trust in our education system so all stakeholders, including the county executive, county council and the school board should work hard both on the funding side and the planning side to maintain HCPSS reputation. Thank you.